what is good youtube jayla's gaming here now in today's video y'all i hopped up out the bed for this y'all i hopped out the bed for this i was in the bed sleep my boy d texted me he said yo jayla in caps so i knew something was up i knew something was up he texted me at 10 a 10 a.m and capital letters now if you guys haven't heard bro if y'all haven't heard, y'all, this just takes this takes 2K24 to the next level. This takes the game to the next level, you guys. To the next level. This this turns it up a notch. Because this is something the community has been begging for for the longest. Ever since they took it out the game. As y'all can see, running 2K just confirmed, y'all. Ricky to Legend is back in NBA 2K24. Now look, let me start smacking my knuckle. Them motherfuckers stinging. Look though, y'all. <sighs> you current gen players, y'all are done for. Y'all done for. This will not be playable for current gen players. Rookie to Legend is only available for next gen console players only now so if you got that current gen console right now and you haven't copped you a ps5 bro i don't know what you need to do i don't know if you need to get on the corner and start clapping your ass cheeks i don't know what you need to do i don't know what you gotta do but you better figure it out because it looks like current gen is gonna be a bust this year they know what they doing man they trying to stop that current gen thing like and I don't blame them, because why are y'all still playing new games on the old console? You're not going to get your full potential. You're not going to get the full game. You're not going to get your money's worth playing an old game, playing a new game, my fault, on an old console. Like, why? Yeah, I know they made it for the old console, but obviously they're not putting their full potential, attention into that old console. So, 2K24, Rookie the Legend, is back, you guys. Um, seasons will still be in the game, but I feel like I heard it will be where it's bought like a Fortnite battle pass. So, with this being back, it's not, seasons is not a focus at all. I can guarantee you nobody's going to focus on that unless they put some great rewards to the point where it's up, like people focus on it. But this definitely right here, this hyped the community up. As y'all can see right now on Twitter, 2K24 is trending in the United States. 2K24 is trending worldwide, you guys. Like, it's been a ton of news that they have dropped so far with this game. It's been so much, so much news, bro. So much news and all the news so far, it's been looking good. Another news has been looking you know not worth it none of the news has been looking like it's going to make the game bad first off the quick drops is taken out of the game um limitless takeoff is taken out of the game um it looks like shooting is going to be perfect i seen some tweets where mike wayne covered all that he said something about um the shooting is going to be something you can control or something but what we finna do here, we finna go through Ronnie 2K page because Ronnie has been saying a couple things about, you know, the news and all that stuff. And we're gonna go through these tweets that Mike Wayne um, put on his Twitter account. So, somebody asked, what are some things we should look out for as far as dribbling goes? He said, try out different breakdown combos. There are a hundred to choose from. So, I heard... They put more SIGs in the game. I don't know how many was in 2K23, but he confirmed that there are even more. It's like 120 plus. Uh, we definitely going to find out about that. But um, he says, SIG double crosses are equipable now. Standing snatchbacks has changed. Oh, man. What he mean by, I wonder if they change in a good way or a bad way. Because them standing snatchbacks, when I say that was so daily in NBA 2K23, like people literally created so much space with that in that in that space creator. People created so much space with that standing snatchback. Straight three right in your face. And it's almost like that standing snatchback, it pulls you away from the defender. It like it backs you up. 
I don't know if y'all had that animation happen, but Standy Snatch Bass has changed and now is tied to the SIG step back package. Definitely learn how to use the blowout properly. Branching generally way branching generally way more responsive in 2K24. Now, I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it sounds like they made a little change to it. I can't wait to, you know, test it out to see how it's going to be. I, I really can't wait because that, that static snatch bash, snatch bash was like a very popular move. So like in 2K23, the stat, the stat, the snatch bash just created so much space. It gave you the opportunity to just shoot that perfect three. Um, since no one asked, you can also meter dunk standing dunks in 2K24, but it's really hard to pull off at the moment. Work in progress. So, dunk meter still in the game, y'all. Dunk meter still in the game. Um, meter dunk or standing dunk is absolutely crazy. Um, if paint, def paint defense is still terrible, that's going to be so overpowered and unstoppable, bro. Just imagine already a big using that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is crazy. You feel me? It, that is absolutely crazy. So, it definitely looked like this year everybody's going to have to be making builds where you're going to – basically like help in whatever way that you play on that court so i feel like everybody this year should be very careful with their builds you need to just make a build that's your play style whatever whatever build that's going to help the team in certain categories when it comes down to playing against people and trying to win now let's go to this next one <laughs> Is every shot greenable or will we still have full bars that just miss? For the green window size, is it purely rating defensive contest that determines the size of the window? Great question from this guy. Answered the previous tweet, but yes, every shot that's not 100% smothered is greenable. Window size determined by a ton of factors. Defense, ratings, and badges being the primary drivers. Hmm. That's 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 pretty good. But don't worry, contested shots are very hard to knock down on higher difficulties. What he mean by higher difficulties? Because he's saying that's like he's saying that like higher difficult I don't I'm I let me start reading between the lines, but he's saying that like somebody going into a play now and putting the difficulty on Hall of Fame. Like, huh? We're talking about in park. What's that contested shots like in park? You feel me? But I ain't even gonna lie, I haven't seen a lot of contested shots just go in 23. Am I missing something? He said, has anyone asked the question regarding shot timing? Very early, late, very late. Is it still in the game? This is the court side report. The option has changed to shot time and visuals queue. You now pick the point in the animation that you want for the ideal release instead of jump set, point, push, or release. Okay, uh... It, it's still in the game, but it's definitely changed. So I'm, I'm eager to see how that was because that I feel like that feature right there really, really had the community messed up because it's like you're shot fast in this game mode. You come to park, it's slow here. You have to change between very late, very early. That right there had people in shambles. So... Ball saves are solid. I thought they were good in 23-2. Blocks got a buff in 2K24, but not to 2K22 levels. Okay, that's pretty good. For those asking what's rating you will need to be consistent, depends on your skill and shot IQ. Some will be dealing with a... Oh, huh? Deadly with a 75 three-point? While others will go 1 for 10, trying not to build tester or a 2K... That is crazy. 75 three-point chat? Hold on, answer this, y'all. Who in the chat has ever had a 75 three ball and how consistent did you shoot? He said, Son will be deadly with a 75 three ball. That's absolutely crazy. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to feel about that. I really don't. I don't know how to feel about that, y'all. I don't know how to feel about that, but I'm very ready to play this game. When I say I'm very ready to play this game, y'all, I'm very ready to play this game. Seeing rookie to legend come back. I'm ready to play this game because I feel – what 2K was that when Rookie the Legend was in the game? I started 2K17, and I think it was in 2K17, but I got on there pretty late. I got into the gaming community, like gaming period, pretty late. So I am eager. I'm eager to just be able to be a part of this um, Rookie to Legend thing, like for the first time, like start of the first time. So – 
that's pretty good, man. Now, this tweet here is, this is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking. This is heartbreaking because why did they take quick stops out the game, chat? Why did they take quick stops out? Quick stops is not in 2K24? Why? Why? Why, why, why? Why is it not in the game? It should have been back. But um, this Rick is a legend thing is very, 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 very great to see. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. It's very great to see back. Because I was just on the phone with Pooh yesterday. And he was saying something like, Rick is a legend is back. And I'm like, who? Says who? Who told you that? Who told you that? You feel me? Next thing you know, 10 a.m. in the morning, Rookie to Legend is back. So you got Rookie 1, 2, 3, Starter, Veteran, Top 10. Okay, so what's the top 10? So the top 10 is going to for sure be the top 10 people to just hit that. So it's going to be a race. I already see who going to possibly hit it. Already. I'm not even going to say. But down in the comments, who y'all feel like going to hit this first? Who y'all feel like the first 10, like, grinders? Because we, we have those grinders every year and those people who always grinded this right here. Like, the people I know in my head, I don't know if we're we thinking about the same people. But let me know who y'all know down in the comments. Who y'all think the first 10 people going to be to get this real quick? To, like, max this whole thing out. Now, the only thing I'm worried about when it comes to this, will this be hard or easy? You know, you got some. Will it be hard for the rep to go up each, you feel me, each rookie starter veteran? Will it be hard to go up or will it be so easy to the point where they find a glitch and start boosting? Boosting is coming back to the game. I'm saying that now. People probably people are still doing it, but it's going to be way bad like way bad now because this is back it's gonna be even crazier but i'm not even gonna hold this video up long bro i'm so amped i'm so amped dog i'm so amped like i really i i haven't grinded 2k in a like i haven't ha had that fun of grinding the game in a long time but 2k24 looks like it has me back to that point where it's asked for you to be in the chair 10 plus hours but we're gonna see you boys and girls in the next video y'all if you ain't got that ps5 you need to cop that ps5 today you need to get your butt off 2k24 ps4 because it's not finna be the wave <laughs> Crossplay is on 2K24 PS5 and the Xbox. Rookie to Legend is on 2K24 PS5 and Xbox. So if you own that PS4, still before 2K24 drop, that ass is grass. But I'll see you boys and girls in the next video, man. Peace out.